With Grenada and other Caribbean countries included on the list of states vulnerable to the effects of climate change, CARICOM is expected to lobby for funds to support member states that suffer loss or damage as a result. According to a Caribbean News Now article, world leaders are preparing for the upcoming COP28 and the Caribbean community CARICOM is slated to rally for more support on the Lost and Damage Fund designed to assist countries most vulnerable to the effects of climate change. The Lost and Damage Fund came to fruition at last year's COP27 meeting in Egypt after three decades of relentless lobbying by developing nations to make rich nations offer funding to countries that are first hit by climate change. CARICOM is optimistic that COP28 will produce a solid strategy to double adaptation funding. The organization also believes that the fund should be dispersed through grants. Dominica's Prime Minister Roosevelt Scarrett, current chairman of CARICOM, has made an appeal to Sultan Al Jabbar, COP28's president designate, by putting out a list of requests. In it, Skerritt said, and I quote, The Caribbean is one of the most vulnerable regions of the world. Climate change for us in the Caribbean is a continuous threat. We are on the front line of the climate crisis, suffering from the ravages of climate change that is not our making. As the COP28 president designate, we in the Caribbean will count on your leadership to ensure that COP28 is a cop of action. COP28 must deliver actions that are commensurate with ensuring that we keep 1.5 alive. Our lives and that of our children and their children depends on it. Unquote. The United Nations Climate Change Conference starting in November at Expo City in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, will bring together leaders to hold open consultations on thematic areas and sequencing, inviting inputs from the broad mix of stakeholders that will attend the conference. Chris Leader John, GBN News.